Hello guys, take with that one hapa na leo tutakuwa tunaongelea review ya 4A 5G. So, kabla ya kuongea vitu vingi, kama unavyojua Google Pixel all Google Pixel phones ni simu ambazo zimetengenezwa na kampuni ya Google yenyewe. So na hii kampuni pia also ya Google ndio ile kampuni ambayo inatumika kutengeneza Android vision. Kwa hiyo kesi Android phones all Android phones ni kwamba the Android uh, software inatengenezwa na nani? Na Google. So without further ado, Let's tende kwenye review ya simu. So, ukishika simu yako kama hivi, when you look at the front, utakutana na display. The display ni 6.2 inches display, alafu ni whole display ambayo na cover juu mpaka chini, with slightly bezo kwa chini, kitako kwa chini, lakini juu kuna kuwa na kanocha camera. Ukikeuza kwa nyuma simu imetengenezwa na plastiki, imetengenezwa na plastiki kwa nyuma kuna kamera na kuna fingerprint sensor sensor kwa upande wa kulia ya simu kuna power button kwa juu kwa chini kuna volume up na volume down button kwa upande wa kushoto wa simu kuna option ya kuwekea line plate ya kuwekea line ambayo ina support uh, ile nano sim ile simu ya mwisho kabisa ile ndogo lakini kwa upi kwa chini utaona two stereo speakers pamoja na USB type C port kwa ajili ya kuchajia ina support mpaka 18 watts fast charging lakini pia unaweza ukatumia kwa ajili ya kutransfer material meka ITG kwa juu utaona option ya, uh, ya microphone au mic na option ya AUX port au kuweka earphones still mpaka Google Pixel 4a 5G still walikuwa na produce simu ambazo kwa na kuweka headphone kwa this is amazing kwa hii simu Oh, first one kabla ya kila kitu tunaanza kuelezea display kama display ya simu. So as I already said inakuja na display ya 6.2 inches screen ambayo ni OLED inakuja na refresh rate ya 60 hertz per second which is amazing. Unaweza ka support gaming experience yako vizuri lakini so zile gaming ambazo ni maximum sana lakini inaweza kukupa ile good experience kutokana pia na screen yake ni kubwa na most of the people pia wanapenda screen kubwa lakini hii screen yake imetengenezwa na Corning Gorilla Glass 3 kwa maana yake kuchubuka ni ngumu sana kwenye these kinds of screen lakini still it's a very good budget phone simu kama simu kwa nyuma ukiangalia kwa nyuma ni kubwa so kama ni kubwa maana yake inakuja na battery kubwa na battery lake ni 3883 mili amperes maana ni battery kubwa kwa matumizi ya hii simu nilivyokuwa naitumia kwa matumizi ya kawaida inaweza kukufikisha mpaka jioni na until the next day lakini kwa matumizi ambayo ni makubwa sana gaming WhatsApp and something like that inaweza kukufikisha mpaka masaa saba mpaka masaa nane kwa extensive matumizi using this phone also as I already said hii simu inakuja na ramu ya 6GB which is a very good RAM ni kubwa kuweza ku support functionality nyingi. Kwa hii simu kuja ku inakuwa ni ngumu kidogo lakini pia zinakuja na only one storage option ambayo ni 128 GB storage. Lakini ukiacha hivyo inakuja na Snapdragon processor 765 still hapa Google Pixel kwa anatumia Snapdragon processor na hii ni nzuri kwa sababu pia ina support 5G network. So katika sehemu ambazo zile simu ambazo zina support 4G hii simu inakuwa ina uwezo wa kusupport mtandao vizuri mno kwa sababu ya uwezo wake mkubwa wa kuweka bandwidth kubwa mpaka ku 5G on the uh, software ya Google kama nilivyokuambia Android na when it was produced in 2020 ilikuwa imeproduce na Android 11 na una uwezo mpaka ku upgrade na Android 13 so still it's a very very good budget phone sasa hivi kwa sababu inakupa many options So let's get to the camera. On the back camera kuna kamera mbili ambapo kuna wide camera ya 12.2 megapixel with na ultra wide camera ambayo ni 16 megapixel. Kwa chini kuna sensor, kwa hapa juu kuna flashlight. Kwa mbele tunapata 8 megapixel camera which is very amazing. Lakini kwa nyuma on these camera za nyuma zina uwezo wa kuchukua picha nzuri hasa hasa sana kwenye daylight katika mwanga mkali hasa hasa asubuhi mchana jioni still ziko vizuri sana kujitahidi kuchukua kamera with an assistant na flashlight unaweza ukapata picha nzuri jioni also the night mode ambayo inakuja na hii pixel 4i5g is very amazing yani kifupi pixel zote in terms of night mode pictures zinajitahidi sana So other than that the wide camera ina uwezo wa kuchukua an ultra wide shot ya 16 megapixel which is very amazing. Lakini other than that ina uwezo pia kuchukia portrait photos. Lakini on matumizi yangu ya hii simu the portrait photos kama hamna distinction kubwa between his object yako na background 
distinction so kubwa unapata very good portrait photos using this phone lakini ukitumia hii simu labda katika hii picha mbona kuonyesha ni ya vidole when you look at it the distance between vidole ni ndogo alafu kwa katikati kuna background so the processing power still ya kudetect very perfect place ya kuweka blur inakuwa kidogo still hapo for a 5G hajajitahidi lakini in general ina take very good portrait pictures hii simu lakini pia hii simu on terms of video inaweza kurecord kwa kutumia back camera mpaka 4K 60 frames per second which is very very amazing compared na later ambapo nitakutajia budget ya hii simu Okay, hii ni video recorded by the GoPixel 5G. Ina uwezo wa kurekodi mpaka 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. On the front ina uwezo wa kuchukua very good pictures, 8 megapixel, lakini pia ina uwezo wa kuchukua video. Hii ni video recorded by the front camera ya GoPixel 5G. Ina uwezo wa kurekodi mpaka 1080p at 60 frames per second. Means ni kubwa and all specs ambazo zinapatikana kwenye hii simu plus the ability ya hii simu kushika 5G is very amazing. Kwa sasa hivi 5G network unaweza kaipata Intigo na pia unaweza kaipata kwa Vodacom from what I know. Lakini other than kwamba hii simu tulivoelezea mwanzo ina support only one single nano sim. Kwa fiz ina support only one physical sim lakini pia ina uwezo wa kusupport e sim. Kwa kwa sasa hivi ambao mtandao ambao umeweza kwa Tanzania kutoa eSIM ni Airtel. Kwa once you have an Airtel unaweza kusajili eSIM kwenye hii simu na ukawa na uwezo wa kuwa na line mbili from this phone. So this phone inapatikana this phone inapatikana hapa Tanzania kwa budget ya shilingi laki nne mpaka laki tatu na sabini. For truth I can say for this budget phone and all the specs ambayo hii simu inakuja nayo with all the videos ambazo hapo nimezionyesha this fee, this phone comes with very pretty good specs compared na bei ambayo hii simu inakuja so a person akiwa na budget ya bei hiyo probably alimshauri na achukue Google Pixel 4a 5G other than that don't forget to like share and usisahau ku comment hapo chini what kind of review should i make next what kind of phone should i take and make a review for you so peace out guys